doctor has ordered 300 milligrams of a drug well if it's been ordered we know this is what we want to give to the patient 200 milligram tablets are supplied so that means that's what we have available to us and we could interpret that 200 milligram tablets as 200 per each one tablet each tablet containing 200 milligrams of the drug if we want to use our formula method want over have so what we want to give to the patient what the order is divided by what we have available how the drug comes in multiplied by the third quantity which is the the tablets or the volume in mills it depends on the question so let's see what we want in this case is 300 milligrams what we have available is 200 milligrams per one tablet so we cannot use we have two quantities so we have to choose one we choose the first one because we want milligrams to match with the 300 milligrams so 200 milligrams is what we have Mendin, so that's gone that's gone what we are left with is one tablet that's how the active ingredient comes so multiplied by one tablet so here what we can do is see that the milligrams are matching so they cancel out and the answer will come out in tablets so we can write those quantities again to work them out multiplied by one Simplify so we can cross a zero on top, a zero on bottom, and we end up with 30 over 20 times 1, which gives us. Oh, we could simplify actually, couldn't we? So we could go there again and say let's divide by 10, divide by 10. So long as you do it to the top and to the bottom, we can always simplify by 10, crossing zeros on top and bottom. So we are left with 3 over 2 times 1. 3 over 2 is 3 divided by 2. Well, basically, how many 2's go into 3? So we could do long division for that. Or we could say, well, 2 goes into 3 once. And there is 1 left. So 1 and a half. Multiplied by 1, this is the same as 1 and a half. What did we say the answer was going to come out in? Tablets. So 1 and a half tablets. We can only give this if the tablets are scored have that line in the middle that allows us to break them in two equal parts